Hi friend, welcome back. I hope the Christmas season is treating you well thus far. I wanted to share with you today a quick Christmas country home tour. All right, and you know, with any good old farmhouse, we're gonna start in the kitchen. So I have open shelving in my kitchen and I change it up every year, but last year my mom gave me this cute little set of houses from Target. I thought that was a cute little touch. I also added wreaths to our pantry doors with just a little ribbon and honestly some painter's tape on the inside seemed to be the best way to get those to hang up there. Um, this is a little nook that we keep the kids' artwork in and I decided to switch it out for our Christmas countdown. So I got all these little bitty envelopes on Amazon a couple years ago. I chose to write on them with Sharpie this year and inside each one is like a small little activity for the day. Nothing difficult. Some of them are honestly like just read a book or talk about the meaning of Christmas, but it's a good little reminder throughout the season as we count down to the big day. A lot of them also have little projects like this in there where they can open up a little gift and do a little project, which is nice because it keeps my kids busy <laughs> in the evenings. So um, here's just a little something I did in the bathroom this year. I usually don't decorate a whole lot in our bathrooms, but I loved the little uh, brush trees and the little truck there on the shelves. Moving into the dining room, I decided to put our nativity scene front and center right on our dining room table so that it is at the core of our family you know, gatherings every evening. And then in the um, living room, main living area, we have an open fireplace. So on this side, I always decorate. I kept up the same painting that I had for Halloween. Um, it's, I just love the moody painting and I added this garland, some of the beaded trim and candles with batteries. So stay tuned to the end. All of this is gonna come to life at night. Um, and then with my kids, these are some more of their projects, but I just love these little touches because these are the good old days for sure where Christmas is so magical and they have lots of things to do. They've been unwrapping some of these little projects um, day to day throughout our Christmas countdown and they get so excited about those. And this corner of the living room seems to get the tree every year. There's just the most space over here. But as you can see, <laughs> we're not in any need for more toys this year. But. <laughs> We've got our little stash underneath the church pew. I added a few candles and lanterns. I'm telling you, this is the real life home tour for Christmas, so you're seeing it all. Um, this angel is important to me because my grandmother, my grandmother had given me that one, as well as a lot of these ornaments on the tree. They are all very sentimental. I love getting them out every year. That's one of the things I enjoy most about decorating the Christmas tree are all of the ornaments. We have a lot that are handmade, like this one, and um, we have little ones that I've had engraved. That was baby's first Christmas. Wedding ones, that little train I gave to Ren for his birthday one year. So there's just lots of pieces that are good memories and reminders. And I'm such a sentimental person, so I love these little things. And I think they make great gifts too. So um, someone gave us this for our wedding. It was our wedding invitation, and she had put it inside of a bulb, and I thought that was really neat. So along our staircase, on the upstairs and the downstairs, which I forgot to video, we have this beautiful garland. And then I just did a few little things on our end tables, which as you guys know, we have little kids right now. So anything that's not too breakable and that we can live with is what gets put in the living room because we definitely do want to live in our spaces but still enjoy the season. This is a cute little family picture of my dad when he was a kid with his siblings and I just loved it so much. I framed it and I get it out for the holiday season as well. Um, I do little lights on those end tables at night, which again, stay tuned because I'm going to show you what it looks like at night here soon. Um, on this little tree, I have some old suitcases and I just stuffed some burlap in there, my little Charlie Brown tree. And then my mom gave me this cute pillow for my birthday. I loved it so much. I had to stick it in our bedroom and I'll probably make a pillow cover for the spring as well. But I thought it was the perfect touch for this season. And real life edition, <laughs> yes, I have laundry everywhere. <laughs> All right, here we are at night. It just, I don't know about you, but there is something about the calming lights at Christmas time. It can be the most chaotic season, but there's moments like this, especially after the kids go to bed, when I can breathe and enjoy the quiet and the lights and really start to reflect on the season. So I hope you're taking time to do that as well in the season. I know it's so hard to do. It's easier said than done, but um, just stopping for a moment, even if it's only like two minutes before you go to bed to stop and maybe pull out your video camera like this and really truly stand back and enjoy the calm of the season. 
This has got to be my favorite part of the season is the calming lights and just how cozy our homes become. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite part of Christmas decorating is or maybe what your favorite part of the home tour was. I hope that this inspired you to not only enjoy your home this season, but to find the calm in between the chaos. And um, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. If you're new here, I would also love it if you'd subscribe to my channel. I have big goals for this channel in the New Year's and I hope to see you here again soon. Merry Christmas.